So I just uploaded the footage you're about to see into the computer to upload and edit this. And I realized the intro I shot isn't there. So what you're gonna see in this video, just to give you a little bit of a preface before we get into that, uh, is I ordered a pre-bent uh, set of stainless steel brake lines, first and foremost. I got those th from Brothers Trucks, but they're originally from Inline Tube, um, which is a company right here in Michigan, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, on the website, there was not listed any kit for the 1970. There was the 67, 68, there was a 69, and then there was a 71, 72, or something along those lines, but 70 wasn't where it's manual brakes, disc front. Uh, so I figured 7172 can't be that much different. Ordered it. It's completely different. Um, so although they are pre-bent, they are going to have to be modified. So I'm going to show you that. Um, the back half of it didn't need any change really at all. Um, and then also what we're going to do is I got an aluminum gas tank from CPP. We're going to get that mounted under the bed. So let's cut to that. For the brake line that goes to the rear, I've already worked this a little bit to make it fit. Um, and overall this fits pretty darn good. This one really wasn't that far off uh, and comes up around and then we'll go all the way back. So That one was fairly easy. It just needed, a, like I said, a little bit of work to do. Uh, but for this one here, this is the one that goes from the down from the master cylinder. Uh, there's a T here and then it's going to go over to the front right or the passenger side. And I mean, you don't have to really be an expert to it it doesn't fit at all so if I put and line this up the way that it is here yeah so just kind of points at the ground which should be there uh, when we do get everything lined up right to the hole there uh, it's about four inches too long so what we're gonna do we're gonna start over here um, I have the T so we're gonna get that in and then we are going to just slowly, piece by piece, make this all line up nice. And then when we get to the point where we need to shorten it, we'll have a line, we'll have it all marked, and that'll be the easiest part to modify. Oh, and what I meant to point out, this is for the driver's side front. Uh, the way this comes for the 70 and 71 kit is it's meant to mount or tie into here and then go around the cross member to the front. Um, obviously, that's not going to work. I already started straightening this out. And this is going to be just a pretty short run here, just from the T down into there. So I've got this side angled the way I want it. So it's going to clip in there. And then we'll just cut that right in there somewhere.
we've got everything out uh, from the front back, really, all the back half of it. So we are going to get the long hard line in. Uh, we've got a new flex line to get down to the axle uh, and all new there. I can't, or I can, but I'm not going to attach it into the wheel cylinder for the rear brakes uh, because those are all getting replaced and rebuilt here shortly. Uh, but I will get them run to it and we'll go from there. One area we're going to run into a little issue is coming from the front all the way to the back here. We did cut this out uh, and that's where it does clip in. And this I do need to bend a little bit, but we're going to have to improvise something here to mount it, whether it be to this hole uh, and then run the flex line this way. But something we got to improvise a little bit on, nothing major. So all the hard lines are in. All I have to do is flare a couple of these and then this one wherever I set that down the one that goes from here to here uh, I just need to flare those and then comes all the way back I need a little clamp or something to clamp this back here goes down to the flex line here and then put those into the wheel cylinders when we get those replaced. So beyond that, like I said, all I need to do is the flares and then the hard line portion is done to the point where I can at least put the engine and transmission in and not worry about uh, needing to work around that. So hopefully they don't leak, but we'll find that out at a later date. So all right, so next day, as I mentioned, the brake lines now are in all intents and purposes done. All we need to do is put a couple flares on two of the lines that I had to cut. Um, I'm going to just rent the tool from AutoZone. That's, they do a free loaner program, which is cool because it's a specialty tool. You can buy them. They're not super expensive, but I don't plan on making my own brake lines every single time. Um, I did get a kit from Harbor Freight and tried it, and it broke within minutes of trying to use it. So not worth your time for that. Uh, all the other little tools that I used yesterday were from Harbor Freight and they were great. So, yeah, you win some, you lose some with that and that's, you kind of know that going in. Anyway, what we're going to do today, I want to get the gas tank mounted. So once we get that up and in, then we can start running fuel lines, get the engine and transmission in, all that good stuff. So let's start fitting that up. All right, so what we have here is a 20 gallon aluminum fuel tank from CPP. And I will let you know that this, when I, from the time I ordered it to the time it showed up was about two and a half months. So if you're thinking of doing it and you're on a timeline, order it early. If you get lucky, sweet. If not, uh, it's gonna take a while. But uh, 20 gallon, it's gonna go right there. Um, we got our fill. Fuel pump, uh, return, all assembly, all of that, sending unit. Uh, and then this is if you're going to be running carbureted, you can run your inline and then your external filter or fuel pump, excuse me. Uh, you can do that. So we are actually going to be blocking this off and then we will get it mounted. Okay, so my initial idea with this is you want to line it up with this rear most rear cross member because that is actually straight. This one is supposed to be a little crooked. So don't freak out by that. Um, what I'm probably going to have to do, because I do want to run my fuel line on this frame rail passenger. So I'll probably have to clearance this out a bit so I can run the lines through here and then up and over. Because um, around this edge, there's room, but there's not, I don't know, there's not a lot of room. I might use that, I might not. Um, my, my initial mindset here is for the mounting holes, I'd like to use, you can't see shit. That, can you see that? Can you? Right there. I want to use that hole that's already existing in the frame. That way, I only have to drill four instead of six. Not that it's that hard, but if you can use them and they're there, you may as well use them.
mounting brackets for the gas tank, I'm gonna get these, these are just raw steel, I'm gonna get these primed and painted. All I did is I did put one bolt through there so I had something to line it up with. Now we just need to transfer these holes that we put into the tank tabs into the frame so we know where we need to punch those holes. Alright, all my holes are punched, filed down, cleaned up, and with a little coat of paint on there to prevent some rust. My mounting brackets, same thing over here, my mounting brackets are painted. So we'll get those down here in just a second, but first, first I got these mounting pads, and the reason I did is because aluminum, mated with steel, vibration, things happen. Uh, so just as a little precautionary, I'm going to put this in between the tank and the frame. So I'm going to get these cut. The felt kind of just holds the bolts right in place there, so it'll make that a lot easier. it uh, just a little bit basically my front most mounting points uh, the frame instead of it just being flat just ever so slightly curved up a little bit so um, just getting everything to tighten down and actually thread uh, especially on those front ones was the hard part uh, but once that took uh, it went up pretty darn easy so gas tanks in brake lines are in and just need to be buttoned up a bit and we're making good progress